The trees that you see in the middle of West Bank Park aren't just any typical trees. They're rather a signifier of someone who's displayed excellence in the Great Falls community. And this exact one you see right here is just another addition to someone who has long provided leadership and influence to others. Former director and organizer of the Great Falls Municipal Band, Bud Nichols, was announced as the winner of this year's award. And there wasn't a more fitting place than to host it at the Municipal Band's first concert of the season. But for him, he says it was simply his passion for music that kept him moving. I, I, never, I, never, I never looked on it as just community involvement. I just, I just liked playing. I, just, I was running the band and I, just used all, and, and I was part of the, actually part of the music community. So as I got directed to that band, I was just went out for the best players in town, and <laughs> and I knew who they were anyway. So. And while he no longer serves as a director of the municipal band, he continues to run a store on Central Avenue. And with music being in the family for generations, Bud is continuing that tradition. My dad, my dad was a professional musician, and so was his parents. So. And we just did music, and, and that's 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 all we did. With me. He played professionally. In those days, back in the 40s and 50s, there was music all over town. I mean, and he played every. He worked every night. You know, he played professionally from. He played nine to two. Bud will now join 12 others as a part of honoring Paris Gibson's vision and excellence with a tree planted in West Bank Park and a plaque with his name. As a part of the Paris Gibson Award, not only is the tree dedicated in his name, he will also receive a $500 check to a charity of his choice, which in this case is the Municipal Band. He will also receive a dinner for two at Paris Gibson's, along with a ride in a 1918 Model T Ford at the 4th of July Parade. In Great Falls, Cade Mentor, MTN News.